Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do another fun fold, fancy fold card for our series. I was going to try to do one a month, but I think I missed a month here. But So this card, I don't know what it's called. I have no idea. Um, we only really need two pieces for this. You're going to have a smaller piece and then the, the card piece. And you can put this piece pretty much anywhere you want on here. So you can kind of go like up here. I'll do a couple different versions or you can bring it along the side or even if you want to like bring it down the bottom, you can pretty much do whatever you want. I actually, with my albums, I actually do a page similar to this. So when I make albums, so I have no idea. I just, I don't know what it's called. You guys come up with a name. Um, okay, so let's just, I just grabbed a bunch of different papers. First, we'll start, I know it's not the holidays, but I just grabbed the, we might as well do a Christmas one while we're at it. So I just grabbed a bunch of stuff quickly, and we'll see what we can make with this one. Now, all my card bases are made with, I always use 110 pound cardstock. So I usually use the Nina 110 pound, um, 110 solar white, Nina solar white. You can get this on Amazon. And you can get it for like $31 a pack. There's 125 sheets in a pack. And that comes out to about 25 cents a piece. Or I use the Michaels 110 pound Michaels. And that you can get a uh, regular price around 17 cents a sheet. If you can catch it on sale, then of course it'll be cheaper. So those are the two brands that I use for my card bases mostly. Um, I just get that big pack of the Nina Solar White. I love the Nina Solar White. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, we want to cut this down. We want a base, seven and a quarter by five and a half inch base, okay? So cut the five and a half inch because that'll leave you enough for both pieces then. So we're going to go five and a half this way. So I mean, it really doesn't matter which way you cut it, but, and then seven and a quarter. Not a half jean, seven and a quarter. Okay, so then this piece here we can use for the outside piece. Let's throw some of this out of way, which we want that three and a half by four. So we'll go four, which I need a new blade in my cutter, I see. You can always tell. And then three and a half. Okay, so those are all the only two pieces you need. For this card damn we need to score so this piece which is seven and a quarter by five and a half we are going to score on the seven and a quarter inch side we're going to score at three inches okay and then on the small piece you can you kind of see how it's kind of like i probably can't see it though you can see the fibers I need a new blade for that cricket. It's not cutting very good. Okay, so on the four inch side, you want to score at half an inch. Okay, that's all you need to do for scoring. And then we will go ahead and fold these. Let's bring you guys in just a little. Okay, so then we're gonna take and we are gonna glue this. Why don't we glue this one on top like this? I think we'll glue this one just for something different. Okay, so we're just gonna glue it right here to the inside. And you can make this piece this piece you can make any size you really want. You can make it a little smaller, a little bigger. So I'm just gonna I'm just matching it up to the top there. And then it'll look like there you go. Oop. Wasn't ready yet. Popped it right off. Okay. And let me just pull and then score it over. Okay, so then that piece, it looks like this. So open like this, 
open like this okay now let's do let's do this inside piece first okay so now that piece comes out to be um let me find my ruler we'll measure kind of as we go so you, so you can see then so it's going to be four and a quarter five should be five and a half so we are going to do four by five and a quarter we're going to use this red plaid and let's see if this one should be good four by five and a quarter does anybody else kind of forget just before they're ready to cut now what were the measurements again i don't know five and a quarter by four okay we have that now usually typically so i'll glue that here and what i usually do is this piece here then i just leave plain for writing so i'll decorate this i'll decorate this and i'll decorate this piece and just leave this for your writing okay so we are gonna this is these are just some i can't even tell you what paper pack this is from i don't know if it has a name on these are some scraps left over from christmas of course because you know i let it sit for two seconds here You know, whenever you're on video, nothing ever works. Does anybody else know that to be true? I know that. Okay, so we're just gonna glue that inside. And then along here, I'm going to do, let's see, what do I have? Here we go, let's use some snowflake. We're going to use the snowflake on the front here. We're going to use the snowflake here. I'm going to use plaid here again, I think. You wing this as you go. So I want a three and a quarter by three and a quarter piece. So three and a quarter. You know, these are some cards that you might not have seen before or you might not have thought to do with your cards, but they're really quite easy. Um, when I first started cards, of course, I made the basic cards. And then as I, I got better and at making cards and I got a little more brave and I've seen other people do different ones, and they're really quite easy to do. So like I said, we'll be doing a series of, um, some people call them fun fold, some people call them fancy fold cards. So we're just going to do, I'm going to try to do like one a month. And we'll see how that goes. One of months enough I get so busy. Is which what happened? Okay, so let's put that there. And then I think I want plaid here too. Because I'm gonna decorate here and I'm gonna decorate here, but I'm going to leave this just plain plaid. Okay, so for that piece then it should be five and a quarter by Three and three quarter, or two and three quarters. Two and three quarters. And like I said, just pull out your scraps. Pretty much all of the cards we're making today are from scraps. So that was exactly five and a quarter. Okay, so let's put that one right here. Don't worry, they're not all Christmas. I just thought I would, you know, I just went through my stash of paper and pulled out whatever. We don't mind looking at a holiday card, right? This is, let's see. This is Echo Park. Doesn't, I don't think it has a name on it anywhere no more. The chipboard I do not think was from the same. It might have been. Marion Bright is the chipboard. So I'm not sure if this was Marion Bright too or not. Nope, Christmas salutations. So, but that doesn't matter. Like they go together, right? You know, they, it doesn't matter if they're from the same pack or not. These are all my, I keep all my scraps. Like this is all I use from the chipboard. So um, I didn't use that much from this one. So I just keep all those scraps and that's what I put in. Now, I want to use uh, Wishing You a Merry Christmas, so let's pull that out. 
You can just cut that along the lines here. You don't want to know what that was. Yep. That was my little container of beads I had sitting here that keep on hand in case I need to show you a bead once in a while. Well, that's okay. It's on the floor now, so that's life. Got a little red on this side. Like, I don't even know why it fell off. It's like totally was on the table. Good thing the dogs aren't around. They'd be eating the beads right now. Okay. So now if you, like, I don't, for cards and stuff, I don't ink a lot. Very rare do I do it. Now, if this was for a book, uh, album or something, I would ink everything, you know. So we're just going to put that in the middle. And most of the time, my cards, I don't do a lot of foaming up because they got to go through the mail. So most of the time, you know, you keep everything flat because it's got to go through the mail, usually. Okay, so that's all we're going to do for the inside. We're not going to do anything here. And or You could put a piece of paper there, but, you know, it's going to be closed anyways. But like I said, I leave this part open for writing. So we have that so far. And we're going to leave this. You can definitely, um, you know, put something there if you wanted to. So what do we want on the front here? You don't want a chipboard? I want to show you how, if you don't like it sticking up like that, too, I'm going to show you how you can hold it down, too. That I will need a little foam. I will, when we get to that. Okay, I think we'll put, let's see if we like this sticker. This is a chipboard one. Okay, why don't we put that there? Uh, da, 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 yeah, let's go with it. Okay, I'm just gonna put that one there. Okay, and I'm trying to see if I have something small that I could use for this one. Let me see what this looks like. Put it there. Oh, this snowflake might work. There's a snowflake in here. Okay, let me grab my foam dots. Oops. And what we're going to do, so for this, I'm just going to pull, let me see if I can do this on this one or not. I don't have my embossing powder down here, so, okay, we're just going to rub it on my pants to get the sticky out. Okay, so if you want to like put a, like a little latch on there. We're just going to put a foam dot on this. Now, normally I would take my embossing powder, but I just did on my pants so it's not really sticky, very sticky anymore. But just take your embossing powder and do that on the back of the sticker. Okay, and I'm going to stick this right down here. Don't stick it on this part. So just stick it on this part here. And I'm just going to stick just a little bit like that and it'll stay closed and then when they go to open it you just pull up a little bit and they open it so if you don't like it just flap and open like that just put like a this is a chipboard you can use some embellishments anything like that to do that so and then you just take and pop it back in ever so gracefully i can do that on camera okay. i'm gonna glue this down too you know just the one thing about these pieces though like this, this chipboard, I think is only about a year old, but they will lose their stickiness after a while. So you can tell it's not like real, real sticky anymore. Like it falls out pretty easy. So just go ahead and put some glue on the back to help it out. And there we have a card. Let me move some of this stuff so I can get the next one in here. Okay, so let's do, okay. Put this little stopper back in where you know I'll have dried out. Did you bring me back down a little bit? Okay, so there's a quick, quick and easy 
Christmas one. Let's bring in, let's see, I have, I have this pack. I haven't even used much. Now you can use this pack. It's got cutouts and everything. So um, you can make cards. It's got sheets in it. This is from Hunky Dory. And I got this pack off of um, HSN. It's by Crafter's Companion, Hunky Dory. And um, they don't have this one on Q or HSN anymore. But you might be able to go right to uh, Hunky Dory. I don't know if they have a US site too. Or um, I know the Crafter's Companion site. I have seen some of them. You might not be able to get this same pack off of there anymore. So I already cut out. I'm going to use, we're going to use this one here. And I already cut out a couple pieces that we want to use. So we're going to take that piece on. We're going to use that piece. And we'll keep the foam dots in case I want to use them. But, and we are going to use another white base. And in fact, I have some, I have some extras cut. Nope, I guess we'll cut along every one of them. So again, it's five and a half. Like I said, they're all cut the exact same way. So... What I tend to do is cut a bunch of the pieces, don't glue this square on, and just put them in a stash. So I have like little containers or um, there's zip envelopes like, uh, and put those in there. And then when I want to make some of those type cards, they're in there. And seven and a quarter. Which from doing YouTube channel, let me tell you, my stash is used up pretty quickly. A lot of my stuff has been, I have to replenish. Okay, so then we need a three and a half by four again. Three and a half by four. Okay, I'm gonna try quickly flipping my blade and all I'm gonna do is pull it out and then put it back in the other way. Maybe it'll cut a little better that way until I can go up and get a blade. Okay, the scraps over there. And then we need to score again. Half inch on the four inch side. Half inch. And oh, we got this one. Three inches on the seven and a quarter inch side. So I said, make your, if, if you're not, if you do a lot of cards and crafting, or even if you don't, by putting bases and stuff in different envelopes, um, you know, you're, you have things made and ready when you need a card. That's half the battle. Just grab a base and go on. Okay, this one I am going to put along this way. Okay, so I'm going to put it on the side. This one we did on the top, which I kind of like too. And this one we're going to put along the side. And like I said... That is your choice. And we are going to try to put it as close to the center as possible. Just line it up. Don't worry if it's not perfect. You know, this is this is homemade. Okay, so now I want to do some um, purple. Now this is just a regular Michaels 65-pound, uh, 65-pound. You don't need um, any more thick because you have the thick card base. So first I want to cut one that I'm going to put here. Put here. And that's going to be four by five and a quarter. Four. Does that look like it? Yeah, that helped. So it's cutting a little better. Four by five and a quarter. That's going to go right here. And you can make the border as big as you want or as small as you want. That's your choice. However you want. I just want a little bit peeking out. Then we'll need the purple for here. So we're going to do five and a quarter by three and three quarters. Three and three quarters. By five and a quarter. Whoops. Yeah, three and three quarters. Well, that's not right, Jean. 
Let's remeasure that again. That's two and three quarters. I thought that didn't look right. No, that didn't look right, did it? Two and three quarters. You know, you have notes and it still doesn't work, does it? Okay. All right, so that piece is going to go there. And now I want to get a piece for right here. And that's going to be three and a quarter and three and a quarter. And let's see, this piece might work. Three and one quarter by three and one quarter. Perfect. And that's going to go on here and here. Now we're going to want to cut out the butterfly. I want the butterfly to go on top here. So what I'm going to do, first I'm going to kind of cut it down just a little bit. I'm going to save that piece. And let's see. So I'm going to want, this piece is going to be three by three. So I want to get as much as the butterfly. So I'm going to cut this over here as far as I can. Let's see what you guys can see. I'm going to cut off as much as I can along this side. I'm going to try to keep as much of this butterfly and flowers as I can. And three inches. Might just cut his little old wing off a little bit, but I'm okay with that. Okay, so we got that much. Now we got to get three this way. And we don't want to cut that much off, so we're going to go down just below his wing in there. Okay. And we're going to have to cut off gonna make it just there okay so that's gonna go on there and then for this piece here I'm gonna want another piece and we are gonna make that at five by two and a half so at five not that color we want to use the back side of that other piece like Jean you already did purple so these are two-sided papers, by the way. I'll show you. I forgot to show you that. They are two-sided. Mm, so I got to go way up here. Some of them aren't, and some of them are. But these ones, these these ones that are more like a matte paper, are one-sided. These are got a uh, like a a glossiness. You can see that, like a glossiness to it. They are double-sided. These are really nice. Oh, I forgot to show you these. So there's butterflies, and they're already punched out. You just have to punch them out. And they have lots of different things in here. Little envelopes, cards. They're really nice paper packs. And I try to get them, but now, like, I haven't seen any more for a while. Of course, that's how it always goes. You find something you really like off of there. Okay, two and a half. Don't lose my train of thought here because I'll screw up for sure. Okay, two and a half. All right, let's assemble that. Now we got all our pieces. Let's start with the middle. Again, I leave this side open for writing on. Sometimes I have a lot to write on my cards, and sometimes it's just a, you know, a simple little greeting. Depends on who I'm writing to and what the occasion is. Like, this will make a very pretty anything. Birthday card, get well card, anything. It's a very pretty card. Okay, that's it for the inside. So we're going to do here. So that's this piece here. Okay, so I think this is the only one. No, two cards I, I didn't use scra scraps. Two cards I did. Because I just had to get these, this paper. I had to use this. I, this is the first time I used that paper pack. You know, you, you find something you really like and you hold on to it. It's like, ah, I can't use it. I can't get any more. And it's true, I can't get it anymore. I'll keep watching, it might come back out, who knows. Okay, so now on the front, we're gonna put the little purple. And I hope you guys are enjoying my videos. I'm trying to do a wide variety of videos. So, you know, because there's some people that like cards, some people that like albums. I do a lot of miscellaneous things. I do have a big album I'm working on now. That's probably going to be a three or four parter. 
but I want to show you some interactive pages and stuff like that. Okay, so we're just going to put that there. Center the best you can. Okay, isn't that pretty? Cute. All right, so for the inside here, I punched this one out. It just says blue mor morpho. Mm. The glitter, a butterfly, blue something butterfly. But whatever. We're just going to put that right there. Just to add some little prettiness to the inside. And you can go all out. I'm just showing you basics. You know, if you want to add more bling and stuff to these, you go ahead. I'm just showing you the basics. And then you guys can do more. Now, the same thing. I think I'm going to, um, I think I'll put it up here. And I'll use that as a clo to help close the envelope. Like, you don't have to. If you can get them scored enough, they usually stay down pretty good. I'm just going fairly quickly, so I'm not, like, working on it real well. But if you score it down enough, it'll stay pretty well. And it goes in the envelope anyways. But I do like to do this sometimes. It just gives it a little bit something different. So I'm just going to tack it right there. I'm going to put a couple foam dots on the back. And we'll just do that. Just because that's kind of what I like to do. You know, you do you, people. Everybody has a different style. And that's what makes this world wonderful, right? And if we were all just blingy, like my style, bling, you know, the world might not be so happy with that. Okay, I'm just going to stick it right. Just so it's just going to catch that page and then they just have to pop it and it goes back in and that one does say birthday wishes on get it a little straighter there so that's two two different looks the same style card two different looks well let's see what we have for our next one i don't know i have a whole pack of stuff here oh okay this one i had gotten this pack after valentine's so I couldn't use it. So we have to use it now. So this is uh, from Mente. And I know I did see this one somewhere. I, I will I will link all these as much as I can in the video for you guys. Of course I will. As much as I can. So this one, we're going to use this kind of, it's kind of a blush color. Um, this is Michael's 110 pound. That's what we're going to use for our base on this one. So you guys get up there a little bit out of our way. And again, we're going to cut a five and a half. Yes, that's cutting much, much better that I flip the blade. Sometimes just do that. You don't need to put a new blade because I cut mostly down. So I think that's why the blade gets like that. Okay, seven and a quarter. Seven and a quarter. And then we need another... We need one that is three and a half by four. You think I'd have that memorized by now, but no. Four by three and a half. All right, now I need to score. This one needs to be scored at three inches. And this one needs to be scored at a half inch. Same as the rest of them. All the same. All right, let's see, where do we want this one? We have that one off to the side. <laughs> let's just do a bottom one, right? Just so you can see the different ones. So we'll do it on the bottom. That way you can see a few different looks. And then you can decide which look you like. All right, so we got that lined up on the bottom, like that. Now for our pages, let's see what we got here. I think we'll do, uh, I think I can do
Okay, so I'm going to do... Yeah, this can go on by itself because it's so pretty. So I'm going to do the inside and this. I'm going to see if we can get enough out of this one sheet. Otherwise, I'll have to use a little bit off of the other one. So, so our inside again here, we want four by five and a quarter. not going to give me enough so I think I'm going to use a different pattern so that we're going to put here and I think I'm going to use because I need the other sheet because let's go with the hearts guys let's put the hearts on the front here okay and that is going to be five and a quarter and we'll make sure we got the hearts going the right way so your hearts are going to go, whoops. And I'm, I'm telling you guys, but we're doing it the wrong way. So you want to make sure your hearts are going the right way. Get this out and I'll show you. Because we want the hearts to go. So five and a quarter. By two and three quarters. And now our hearts are going the right way. So we got that. And we have that. Okay, and then we want this piece, which I'm just going to, I'm not going to do an underlay on that one. I am going to use, I'm going to try to get this corner piece right here. Isn't that pretty? Okay, so we know this is a three and a half by three and a half inch square. We, we are going to, I don't think I'll do a border on this one. I want to get as much of this as I can. So I think we're going to do as much as we can here a three inch okay i'm going to cut this side a little bit get this out of the way so you guys can see here a little bit okay i'm just going to cut as close to this side of the table as i can get so i went down as close as i can get and now i'll have to do three inches and how what are we going to cut that's not going to be bad we are not cutting the low out or anything Oh, I did. Now I just did three. I said I was going to do three. That's okay. We'll do three by three. I just said I was going to do. And then I do it anyways. I'm so used to cutting. So we got quite a bit of that anyways. And then we get a border. All right. I think we can glue that together. And then that's right. we'll see what I want for the inside piece on that one. I don't know what we're going to put on the inside of that on that book. We'll have to look together in the book and see what we can find for inside here. Let's go glue that down. There we go. And then we're going to put the hearts on that page. Okay, and then let's put that right there. I think my accident works well. I think I'm glad I messed up because I like having the border. So we have that. Really cute Valentine's Day or anniversary card. Okay, so they don't have much cut aparts in here. Uh, let's see, they're and they're tiny. So they have these on the front cover on and the, the back cover. So then they ha also have these little cards. Let me pull one of these out. All right, so I think I'm going to. Do a quick fussy cut here. And when I mean quick, it's going to be quick, people. We're just going to fussy cut that out. And we're not going to worry about like... Getting too precise. Just 
gonna go around the best. That's the only thing about the mente ones is like you have to fussy cut everything. And I'm not a huge fussy cut fan. And woo! I know some people love it. I'm just gonna kind of quickly go around this way, make it look kind of wavy, like the lace. And I'm gonna take a little excess off here. Oop, what am I showing you? You guys aren't in the camera. Jeez, Jean. Okay, and then we're just gonna close good enough. And then we're gonna put that right up there. And I think, what do we like, guys? This one says love too, but that's got that black ground. Which one of these do I like with the background? I think I'm going to go in here to this one with the lace on it. Just because we want a little something in the Okay. Now, again, I don't want to pop that up because it's going in the mail, but you can definitely pop it up if it's something you're going to hand deliver someone. And then let's just put this down here. Okay. And now I'm not putting nothing on here. And we have that. But now I found this cute little chocolate heart in my stash. And I think I'm going to put it right there. Just pop it up there. So it catches. Yep. Okay. Push it down. And there you go. So we have that one too. Okay. All right. So there is three different looks for one fold, okay. one design card. And where is that? My base here again. So basically, I buried it. I buried it under all the junk. Okay, so this is how we started. Just taking two pieces, easy enough, and this is what you get. So we put it on top. We put it along the side on this one. And then this one on the bottom. And they all just pop open. So I hope you guys enjoyed this fancy fold one and give it a try and let me know if you give it a try. And as always, I hope you guys will please give me a like, subscribe. That really helps out the channel. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, everyone.